guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating pumpkins. This is a kid-friendly pumpkin decorating session that I did with my kids, um, just to get us in the mood of fall and do our fall decor. So the first thing that I had to do is to clean the pumpkins. I read all over um, Pinterest that you have to clean your pumpkins with something that has bleach in it. Um, I decided to use Ajax, but some other suggestions I saw were to use Lysol wipes or just soap and water with a little bit of bleach in it, but apparently bleach preserves the life of the pumpkin and it'll last you for your fall season. So that's the first thing that I did. The second thing I did was make sure that I got some cardboard um, and just spread it out all over my counter. Um, a big, big tip I will say is make sure you have enough cardboard or an old sheet. Um, another thing that I used was an old sheet and I just spread that across my kitchen table just because I didn't want to ruin the wood. So make sure that you have um, either cardboard or an old sheet or some tarp, something to preserve, protect your furniture and to make sure that you don't get any of the glaze spray on there. Um, it's really important that you let your pumpkin sit out and you dry them off before you start painting or spraying them with a glaze um, just because it won't cure to your pumpkins if um, they're still wet. I will say one tip is I would have sprayed these outside had I have thought about it ahead of time. And so you might want to spray, if you decide to use a glaze or a matte spray, you might want to do it outside. The spray that I used was a Krylon Triple Thick Crystal Clear Glaze. Um, I just wanted to have a little bit of a glossy shine to my pumpkin, so I decided to find a glazed one. Um, they do sell matte um, versions if you don't want the glaze. I picked this up at Michael's and they had different um, types that you can use to preserve your pumpkins. I will say don't overspray them. I kind of went a little crazy with the spray and I had some drippings um, that were on the pumpkins that I had to kind of like dap out with a paper towel and it worked, but I'll just say, just give it one coat. You don't need to have as many coats as I put on there. Um, and this is kind of how they turn out. Um, be sure that you, again, give yourself enough time to let your pumpkins dry. I think I let mine dry for about 20 minutes um, while I distracted my children. <laughs> for sure have something to distract them while you prep the pumpkins. So the next thing I picked up was some Craft Smart paint. Um, this is acrylic paint, um, any kind will do. This little package that I got a while ago, it's lasted me a long time. You can use it for anything. I will say to make sure you get a non-toxic soap and water cleanup paint, especially if you're working with little ones. We had paint in the hair and on our nose, on our tongue. We had paint everywhere. So I was glad that I was able to just wash it up really quick. Um, another thing I'll say is to make sure you get a smock or an oversized t-shirt. We put just oversized t-shirts on um, to protect our clothes. It was really a pajama day for us because it was a rainy Saturday morning. And actually, of course, the sun came out once we started with our craft, but it was okay because we enjoyed ourselves. But make sure that you protect your clothes. Um, so we just spread out the paints. Um, my children picked which colors they want to start with. <laughs> my daughter decided that she wanted to have a colorful pumpkin. Um, which is appropriate because she is colorful <laughs> and my son went with a more traditional color he picked orange now I will say my daughter she's four and she was pretty independent with the activities she was able to paint on her own my son he just turned two and so he needed a little bit of help but um, it was easy enough that he was able to participate with a, without a lot of guidance at some point point. Um, and then I was able to get a pumpkin and join the party um, I was had to jump in and out to help my son. Like I said, he did have some moments of a uh, yellow tongue in there, but for the most part, he did a good job and I was able to help him while still painting my own pumpkin. And it didn't take us long. I wanna say we painted for maybe about 30 minutes. Um, and then once we finished our painting, I got some more cardboard and I transferred it over to the other counter because we needed to let our pumpkin sit and dry for a bit once we finished painting. So 
take your time, have fun. We did. Um, and be creative. Pumpkins don't have to be an orange color if you don't want them to. <laughs> um, really, I, I wanted it to match the fall just because I do use them for my fall decor, but I wanted my children to be able to be creative. So I let them do whatever colors they wanted to do. It worked out for us that we were close to a sink <laughs> because I did have to end up washing up my son and washing his hair because he had paint everywhere. So if you can have um, a tub or a sink somewhere close, that works out well for little, little ones. If not, just have a towel of some sort, a face cloth, so that you can wipe down their hands um, or their mouth um, once they get paint on them because they will get paint on them, <laughs> trust me. So now the pumpkins are all dry and I'm going to spray them one more time with my glaze spray because I wanted them to kind of have that same shine as the ones that we decided not to spray. And voila, pumpkin decorating is done. Um, we just kept ours pretty basic, but if you really want to get creative when they're older, I'd like to put faces on the pumpkins or maybe use some glitter. That would be fun. Be as creative as you want and then just spread them around your house. We spread them in all different places wherever they fit and match the decor. Um, and it was fun. Hopefully you can try it too. If you do, let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and come back and visit me again soon.